he has been on the scene for a couple of years and he actually has his own show, his own production thing. It's called Cheap Laughs. You should check it out, cheaplaughs.com. Uh, put your hands together for Paul Gillespie. Hi, Paul. Thanks for doing the hey, show. Hey, Kathy. Hey, good to see you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. Great to see everybody. And uh, I'm going to just be very, very honest right from the top. I'm scared to death of COVID-19. It scares the hell out of me, which makes me the poster child for the CDC. I'm following <laughs> these guidelines everywhere all the time. I'm that guy you see driving alone in his car, wearing a hospital grade N95 mask. <laughs> and I got the windows up and I got the sunroof tight. I got the air on recirculate. You know, I got surgical gloves at 10 and two, <laughs> blasting NPR. <laughs> this is all things considered. I'm your host. <laughs> That's my jam. <laughs> now, not everyone is as scared as I am. I got this 72 year old neighbor next to me. And she tries to follow the guidelines, but she's not really quite getting it. Like I saw the other day, she was uh, weeding her garden. She was taking a break. She was doing that chin mask move, you know? <laughs> and then I realized she's doing the chin mask because she's on a cigarette break. <laughs> I thought, that's weird. I mean, what is, what's going through her mind? She'd be like, yeah, I got to wear that mask, but I'm in public. <laughs> <laughs> that COVID will fuck up your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's the idiots who wear the mask right below the nose. What's up with, I mean, it makes you wonder what they, how they wear a condom. <laughs> I mean, I even saw a homeless guy living under a bridge and he had a mask. So I'm like, wait a second, the guy who's protecting a shopping cart is safer than the guy protecting the nuclear launch codes? <laughs> that is not right. It's really different living under the pandemic for all of us. I mean, when I, Used to be when I would go shopping to Whole Foods, if I sneeze, guy next to me says, bless you. Now if I sneeze a whole, in a Whole Foods, guy next to me is like, hey, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> so I guess it depends on where you are, you know? Um, but I was driving home from vacation from Maine and, uh, and I pulled over for coffee and to fill up the car. I'm in line to buy my coffee. And this dude comes right up behind me, no mask. He's right on my shoulder, hovering behind me like Donald Trump debating Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, dude, can I, can I have my six feet, please? He goes, while, he, while he's stepping back, he mutters, pussy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, when we get a vaccine, that guy does not get a dose. <laughs> the anti-vaxxers, they don't get a dose either. Here's the deal. If you weren't vaccinated for the last pandemic, you can't get vaccinated for this pandemic, okay? <laughs> Pretty straightforward to me. Funny things get you excited in the pandemic. I came home uh, last Saturday, my wife had been out shopping and I saw on the kitchen counter a big stack of toilet paper. My heart sort of fluttered. I kind of felt like I'd stumbled across a Victoria's Secret bag in the back of her closet. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay in shape like all of us during the pandemic. I got a good uh, exercise jam on the cyclist. So it was very good for social distancing. It was on a long ride last weekend and uh, passed by an auto body repair shop called Limerick Collision. I thought whenever I think of Limericks, I think of drunken Irishmen. So is that really the place that I want to take my car to get it fixed? I don't know. I just, I picture Sean and Patrick talking about my car over at Plank to Guinness. Uh, this guy brought this guy from them talk it. The A-frame was bent. I said, fuck it. I worked morning till night, so she'll never be right. But I took his cash for the pub. He can suck it. <laughs> 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 or maybe, I don't know, maybe they just communicate in limericks at the shop all day long, like a Monty Python sketch that never made it to air. Be like, uh, a laughing. Finish the Chevy. Yeah, Sean, the winch thinks the engine's too heavy. Ah, well, then leave the old one in, son. We've no time for this now. What off to the pub for a baby? <laughs> I'm not going to let collision, I guess is what I'm saying. But I got one of these jobs where I can work from home. My wife's a school teacher, so she is terrified to go back to work. To walk into a room full of slobbering 13-year-olds? Does anybody really think they're going to follow the CDC guidelines? I mean, forcing a 13-year-old to wear a mask while forbidding him to touch another 13 year old for an entire school day that is not a new education guideline that's the middle school equivalent of enhanced interrogation <laughs> so my wife's refusing to go back in person 
And the best part about knowing not going back in person is she gets to skip all the damn meetings, the teacher meetings, but especially she gets to skip the parent meeting, yeah. especially the parent meetings with the parents of that kid. It's just a problem. You know, it's just never doing his homework, never handing things in. He's always late. He's going to grow up to be a comic <laughs> because the parents, they're so earnest and they, they want help. They want answers. And they look at my wife and say, dear sweet woman for, for answers. And sometimes they, I think sometimes this is what she wants to say. Well, we've, we've looked at all the tests and um, we don't see, um, we don't see uh, ADD and we don't see a learning disability. So we think, and we don't say this very often anymore, but we're pretty sure your son is just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, he could still grow up to be president. <laughs> Check out chief com. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Paul. Paul Gillespie, okay. everybody. Have a good night. Paul, I like, I feel like we're doing like bookshelf war here. Like, I know. Who's bookshelf? Who are best? I know. I like it. Well, I Paul like has it. a C on his. What does the C stand for?